Is it recording? It is. Yeah, it's Bump Beeps. Half Legend 787 here today. And I know it has been a long time. It's been a few weeks since my last video, a few months since the one before that. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I at one point did a soccer scramble let's play. And I never explained what happened to it. Basically, you know how I was obsessively screenshotting pictures of Poppy so I could post them in my Discord server? Well, uh, yeah, that went wrong, and uh, I accidentally turned my phone off, stopping the recording, and as a result, I had to restart the chapter, but instead of restarting the chapter, I accidentally restarted the entire story, so I fucked up. And it was only the second to last chapter, so it was only that video and one more that I had to make on it. I apologize for that. I will do my best not to let it happen again. And if it does end up happening again, then I will make sure that this time I play through the entire story. And then I just get to that part again. You guys will just have to remind me, hey, you missed this part on a certain video because of an error that you made. Could you go back to that chapter and record it for us? And... I will gladly do so. Just please t remind me if that problem occurs, and I will do what I can to fix it. Anyways, on to the story. I can do this. First day in my new school. I've worked so hard to get here. I almost can't believe it's all in front of me. A great school, a bright future, but something's missing. I'm okay with being alone sometimes, but... Having someone to hold, having someone that fills the myth the missing parts of me, isn't that what life's really about? I have all the success, but I don't feel whole. I want that one special person, and I know exactly how to make sure it's forever. The Sakura Tree Legend says if a couple vows their love for one another under it, their love will be eternal. It's my one shot at finding true happiness. I just have to find the right person. Really, what could go wrong? Ah! Oh shit. I hope, I tripped, I hope no one saw that. And here's Poppy! Yes! My favorite fictional character. I know the tree's pretty, but I didn't know it was that distracting. I hope you only bruised your ego. Is that? No. It can't be. She's smirking at me. She extends a hand to help me up. I really do hope you're not hurt. It is her. But I haven't seen her in years. Oh, my ego's pretty bullet bulletproof by now. What's life if you can't laugh at yourself? It's nice to see you've still got the sunny disposition, Austin. Poppy wraps her arms around me. I can't help but tinge at the surprise of her warm touch. Poppy was my best friend growing up. Actually, she was more like a partner in crime. We'd ride our bikes around town, getting into trouble, playing in the mud, sneaking around old buildings. She moved away years ago, and we lost touch. I never thought I'd see that smiling face again. It's so incredible to see you. I can't believe you're here. Can't believe I made it in? Me neither. She winks at me. I cleaned up my act a little after we got separated. I studied really hard. A lot easier to do without any distractions. Yes, I take full credit for the distractions. I am I'm sorry. I was a jackass as a child. <laughs> Is what I would have said if I was the main character. But that also kind of describes me in real life, just being a jackass, so. I can't help but glance between her and the Sakura. Although now it seems like you're the one distracted. I'm sorry. It's just... Do you still believe in it? The Sakura legend? Of course I do. I've only thought about it my entire life. Her eyes have a glisten to them as she stares at the tree. It's almost like she's awake for the first time. I've got to stop staring at her. Everyone deserves someone. I don't want to go about life alone anymore. I want to find my other half. That's what this year's about for me. That's what it's about for me, too. Let's be partners in crime again, then. What does she mean by that? Sorry about that, guys. I'll help you find someone. You help me. Just like old times. Like old times? An awkward, intimate silence. I stare at her. Unsure of what to say. Oh, here comes that. 
here is the face that oh, seriously this is easily the best facial expression genius has ever made in my opinion seriously i mean there's no competition for it in my opinion <sighs> puppy inches towards me as if she wants to be closer school bell rings a soccer blossom catches the breeze and lands on her cheek neither of us move an inch guess that means we should get to class huh what should i do Brush the soccer blossom off her cheek. Excuse myself to class. I'm going to brush the soccer blossom off of her cheek. There's no other option. I reach my hand forward and brush the blossom off of her cheek. She blushes as my fingers cup her face and steps back embarrassed. Bro. I can't believe I'm finally back to playing this game. It's so amazing, guys. Seriously, you don't understand my sheer excitement. I never realized... When we were kids. Never realized what? You've got really nice eyes. You do too. She pauses and punches my arm playfully, trying to break the tension. I'll make sure to let other girl I'll make sure to let the other girls know. We've gotta find your soulmate after all. You make a good wing woman. I expect the same from you. Tell the boys how smart and dashing and charming I am. I'll be sure to pass the message along. Who the fuck is XD Jose? Do you have plans for lunch? I'll save you a seat. Have a good first class, Austin. I really have missed you. I've missed you too. Okay. One thing I want to clarify right now before I go any further. Unlike the last time I recorded Soccer Scramble, each video will be one chapter rather than two. That way, it's not uneven with the endings and all, even though I could just do all those in one chapter. I prefer shorter videos so they can be released in a smaller amount of time, even if it is only by a few hours. I would still prefer that. Not to mention, the longer a video is, the less likely people are to watch it the entire way through. And I don't want to drag on. I apologize for a lot of exposition and not getting to the game, but I just wanted to clarify that. And I'm only going to be doing one chapter per video, no matter what series it is from now on. I hope you guys understand that. These classes are more intense than what I was expecting. I'm so thankful that Rio was in my class with me. He's my best friend. He's got his flaws, but he'd do anything to ensure my happiness. And I'd do the same for him. Rio leans in to whisper to me. How are you liking it so far here? I think I love it. The professors are great. The soccer are beautiful. The girls are. Don't tell me you believe in this, that soccer myth. What's not to believe? The door opens. Poppy walks in and hands the professor a note. I can feel my breath catch in my throat. She casts me a faint smile and slopes back out. Oh man, did you see that? Yeah, she she totally just smiled at me. Oh my god. Rio's really funny. That's why I like him as a side character, honestly. Typical Rio. Like I said, he's got his flaws, but they make him even more lovable. Do you know her? Yeah, her name's Poppy. Poppy? Wow. She's like, unbelievable. I feel like I can't even breathe. Dude, you haven't even seen the best of her facial expressions yet. What do you think of her? Why do I tell him? She is incredible. I talked to her earlier today. You talked to her? Tell me everything. What she like? What she into? Does she? Rue's excitement dwindles. A mischievous look crosses his face. You like her, don't you? I'm not sure. She's funny and intelligent, and I've known her for a while. Since we were kids. You grew up with her? We used to ride our bikes down to the forest and cause all kinds of trouble. She doesn't seem like the trouble-making type. She's not anymore. She's invited me to sit with her at lunch if you want to join. Of course I want to join. A chance to sit with her? I just hope I don't embarrass myself. Relax, you can't more than I did this morning. I spot Poppy from across the courtyard. I feel like there are butterflies in my stomach. It feels so... It feels so comfortable to be walking towards her. Beside me, Rio beams. You brought a friend. This is Rio, my best friend. My replacement. <laughs> uh, not only the sarcasm, not only the savageness, but... Oh, fuck, I just 
said. Okay, sorry. Not only the sarcasm, but Poppy can also be extremely savage at times. Poppy winks. Rio nervously shifts and laughs. It's nice to meet you, Rio. She's smiling at him. Does she... Does she like him? Why does that make me feel so weird? I've never had a crush before. I don't even know what it's supposed to feel like. You two can fight over who's my best friend if you want. What kind of fight do you propose? Rio's looking at me. Is he waiting for me to be a wingman? Should I push Poppy towards him or pull her towards me? What should I do? Reference an inside joke with Poppy. I'd say a three-legged race, but... I shrug and wink at her. Poppy blushes a bright pink, matching the soccer behind her. Oh my god. Another background, the same face. She shoves me playfully. After that one we had as kids, I stand by the fact that you tripped me. I would never trip a lady. You just lost coordination for a second there. Rio, your best friend decided to do a three-legged race in the middle of nowhere. We were like eight or nine. I fell and twisted my ankle. I started sobbing. I felt so horrible. He picked me up and carried me all the way to town. It took nearly an hour. He didn't complain once. He even bought me a lollipop while he waited for my mom to come get me. I still feel a little bad, honestly. Maybe I'll just make you carry me to all my classes. That'll make it up to me. Oh, the injury's still healing eight years later? The emotional wound, sure. Her vibrant eyes burrow into me. Poppy leads... Wait. Okay, yeah. Poppy leads the way down the hall. She stops dead in her tracks. Oh, I hope everything is okay. I step around her to see what she's talking about. What's going on? Whack. And there's Willow. I'm sorry... I'll explain why later, like, in a video that is not, well, that talks specifically about Willow, but I think she is the weakest of the characters, and I think most of that is due to the fact that she is the character that the story focuses most on, and honestly, I want to give that time to Poppy. I think she has the perfect amount of time already. I would give that time more so to Raven to develop her as a character, because Willow doesn't really need it with the character she is, so... In front of me, books scattered across the tile as someone falls. I bend down to help her in a frenzy. Are you okay? Here, let me. I reach out to help the person, and stunning eyes stare back at me. She places her hand in mine. I can feel the cold blood pumping through my body, buzzing like electricity. Her hand is warm in mine. Delicate. I'm so sorry. I... No. Let me help you. I get her to her feet, but I can't get my hands to move off her supporting her. It's like I'm stuck in time, mesmerized. Um, I'm standing now. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, sorry. I, I pull my hands off of her. I can feel myself blushing. Why can't I talk right now? Willow, your glasses. Her glasses lay at my feet. Oh, fuck. One of the arms is broken off. I pick them up gingerly. I came to borrow your textbook, Poppy. But it looks like now I won't even be able to see it. I seem her for something to say. Nothing's coming out. Man, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why is my heart pounding like this? I can, um... We can go get some tape and put them back together. What should I do? Uh, I'll walk you to get some tape. I'm Austin, Poppy's friend. Willow. Yeah, that'd be really nice of you. I sit at the desk and slowly try to piece her glasses back together. I can feel her eyes on me. My hands are shaking so bad I can hardly hold the glasses. You just started here? Me? Yeah, yeah. You must think I'm so clumsy. I'm studying for my entrance exams. I'm so focused on them I kind of lose where I am sometimes. Do you ever get like that? I meet her eyes. I can feel my hands quivering. My heart's pounding. There's something so ethereal about her. I do. Kind of like right now. Why now? I'm, uh, too focused on what a bad op optometrist I'd be. She raises a brow. Sorry? Oh, uh, I was joking. Uh, this is awkward. 
awkward silence. Could I be any weirder? Why am I so nervous? Will places her hand on mine. It's okay if you can't fix them. Oh no, that's it. I'm fixing them. An urge to impress her rushes through my body. I finally manage to tape them together. I pause for a moment before I slide them on her face. She blinks at me. Her pupils dilate. I can hardly breathe. Okay, so my question is, why did they decide to give Willow glasses if this was the only time in the story they ever referenced it and we never see her with her glasses on? That is literally my only question. I can feel her breath on my neck as her soft eyes on, and her soft eyes on me. Thanks, Austin. One sec, I'm gonna go back in the backlog to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, yeah, I didn't. I must be bright red right now. Why can't I calm down? We should, uh, get back to the others. I sigh with relief as I walk home. Finally, some time to collect my thoughts. Hey, I guess I spoke too soon. You left this at school, dork. She hands me my jacket. Thank you. You really didn't have to run to me. I wouldn't want you to get cold. She starts walking with me. She has a natural skip to her step. She moves like she is she moves like she goes through life, happily and playfully. So today today everything one has planned for you? I would say so. What's she fishing for? No awkward moments or anything. I love this face. It it's just funny when I see it. It doesn't have the same effect as that one face with her mouth just barely open and her puppy eyes, but this is absolutely fucking hilarious and it makes me laugh every time. Oh shit. A uh, fucking course she noticed. Was it that bad? I don't want to say you bombed, but you bombed. I don't know why. I got so nervous around her. Around Willow? She's harmless. I know, but... Poppy stops in her tracks. A realization flashes across her face. Oh my... <sighs> this face. I'm taking a screenshot every time I see it. I don't care. Austin, do you like her? I, uh... What do I say? No, I have other people in mind. Oh, like who? I'm not telling you. I'll get Rio to tell me. She winks at me playfully. But I get it. Will can be a little intimidating. She fo She's so focused on school, she misses a lot of stuff. But don't let her demeanor fool you. She's a sweet girl. She just needs to get some stuff figured out. I have an idea that might help me be able to talk to her. What is it? Do you think we can go on a double date? The four of us? With you and Rhea there, I don't think I'd be as nervous around Willow. I just want to be able to talk to her. That's a great idea. Like we said, partners in crime, right? Okay, as much as I want to break out singing Partners in Crime by Set It Off, I'm not going to. I may link that in a comment just because, but, well, yeah. How does tonight sound? Tonight sounds great. I'll text you where. She glances me up and down and winks. Make sure you wear something impressive. <laughs> <laughs> there is the savagery coming out from Poppy. I stand outside the cafe, Poppy sitting at the table and there with Rio. My heart's pounding. Something about this feels wrong. Is it weird to make Poppy help me? What if I can't even talk to Willow? I can't make myself go in. My feet don't want to move. Footsteps echo behind me, but I'm still catching my breath. Should I really go in? The footsteps slow behind me. Austin, is that you? I guess it's now or never. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. This has been Teflogen787, and I'm out of the house. Bye!